So often in our growth of spirituality, it's important for us to think about concepts that we may not have thought of before. And today, we're going to think about the real you. As I let God's light shine in me, I perceive in my mind's eye the real me that God created. In 1 Peter 3, verse 4, it says, Let your adornment be the inner self with the lasting beauty of a gentle and a quiet spirit. So often in life, we do not lead real lives. Here's what I mean by that. We have tried from childhood on to live up to the dreams, to live up to the expectations of someone else. And we have soon discovered as we get older and into adulthood and sometimes old age that those dreams and expectations could never make us happy. I had a seminar one time and I had a lawyer there on the front row many, many, many years ago. And that lawyer broke down into tears and stood up and talked to the group when I was talking about something like this. And he said, I'm a lawyer because Aunt May wanted me to be a lawyer. Names changed, of course, for this telling. I never wanted to be a lawyer. And then I got so into it that I kept on being a lawyer because the rest of my family liked me being a lawyer. And then I married a woman that uh, was marrying a lawyer, not me. And here I am, almost 60 years old, he said, and I realize that I've never lived my dreams. I've wondered all my life, what's missing? Well, what's missing is me. And you know what I've found in ministry, my friend, is most people, and I'm not talking to you because you're watching this broadcast, and, uh, but I'm talking about most people the world over. They never live for themselves. They accept the dreams of others. When you realize that it is only through following your own inner guidance through letting God inspire you, becoming who you are meant to be spiritually from the beginning that God created you to be. That will give you the key to unlock the door to be happy with who you are. God's loving spirit is always with you and it is guiding you to be the unique person you were created to be. And it's never too late. When you are being that person, oh, my friend, you have so much to give to the world. You have so much within you that is yours alone to give. And that is what makes you special. So I ask you to pray about this this weekend, that you let that light shine in celebration of your authentic self. By being true to yourself, you will discover what it really means to be a child of God, to be God's creation of a unique life.